Hey guys, so today's video is another Valentine's Day tutorial. I said that I would be posting like two more. This is the second look I came up with and I'm using the very obvious <laughs> Naked 3 palette. I know there's tons of Valentine's Day tutorials with this palette, but a bunch of you requested that I do a Valentine's Day look with the palette, so that's what I did. And this is what I came up with. I only used one other eyeshadow that wasn't in this palette, but it's a purple and you can find a purple anywhere. I actually really like this look because it is really, really simple. It's a nice light pink blush, light pink lips, and like a pinky purple eye. And I just think it's nice and sweet and soft and romantic. So for those of you who like that soft and romantic look, this one is perfect for you. So let me know down below if you like this tutorial and if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Then I'm going to take the color Limit in the Naked 3 palette and this is going to be my transition color. I'm taking it on a fluffy brush and I'm just sloppily going to put this all over my crease. And on some of my eye as well. <laughs> then I'm taking the color Buzz in the palette and I am going to apply this all over my lid with a flat shader brush. The pigmentation on this eyeshadow isn't the best as you can probably tell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of Fix Plus and spray that on my brush and then dip it back into the eyeshadow and apply it like that. Then I'm going to take Nooner and on my 217 I am just going to quickly blend the harsh edge of that eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Lust palette. This is the other eyeshadow I'm using for this tutorial, but you can use any matte purple. This is a dupe for Max Fig 1. If you have that eyeshadow, then use that one. But I'm just going to take my MAC 217 and I'm going to start applying this eyeshadow on the outer V of my eye and then drag it up into the crease. Now I'm going to take Limit, which is the first eyeshadow we used, and do the exact same thing. I'm going to just blend this into my crease so that everything blends nicely. And really quickly, I'm just going to tight line and line my waterline with the Maybelline Master Drama Eyeliner. I'm going to take this flat little angled brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to dip it into Max Carbon and I'm going to start creating a line. I, did, I didn't want to use gel or liquid liner because I didn't want it to be too harsh. I want it to be really, really soft. Next I'm taking Black Heart from the palette and I'm going to start stamping this on the outer V of my eye and then dragging it in so it fades nicely. I just want to add a little bit of definition to the outer V of my eye. For my highlight, I am taking Strange and I'm applying this underneath my brow bone and in my inner tear duct. I'm going to go back into that buzz color with some more Fix Plus and apply it right in the center of my lid to give it that metallic pop. Then I'm just going to add some mascara and I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. I already put my foundation and concealer on just to save some time, but I'll list it down below what I used. Also, I forgot to record it, but I added some eyeshadow to the lower lash line. I added Nooner from the palette. I just smudged that underneath my lashes, and then I added some mascara. So for my bronzer, I am using the NYC bronzer in Montauk Bronze, and I wanted my face to be very, very simple, which is why I didn't contour or anything like that. I'm just bronzing up my face a little bit. For my blush, I am using the L'Oreal True Match Blush in Baby Blossom. It's a light baby pink. It's really pretty. So I'm taking that on my It Cosmetics blush brush and I am just 
applying a very, very subtle amount to my cheeks. And then the sun went away, but I am using my Becca Highlight in Moonstone to highlight my cheekbones. I am using the Revlon Pink Pout Super Lustrous Lipstick. And then I am topping it off with the Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. Okay guys, so that is the finished look. I hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!